All right, guys, do you want the chance to win this World War II American SMG machine gunner here? And I'll be giving this minifigure away. All you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment down below, and make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. I'll be giving this away in next week's video. All right, guys, this is going to be the first episode of taking down D-Day. It's probably going to be a three-part series. So for the next three weeks, I'll be taking this mock apart, sorting all the pieces, and getting ready for the next mock. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is episode one. A lot of you guys like these videos from not only Sinai Desert, but the Battle of Puilu. So right now, what I'm doing is I've got all my lights set up here, and uh, I'm going around with my Canon camera here, and I'm taking all Every picture I can think of, every angle, every cool shot that I can, trying to document this mock as much as I can. So if I need to go back and look, oh, how did I build this? Oh, I got a good picture of it. Or, you know, I need a thumbnail for, you know, a video or something. That's why I'm going around. I'm going to take probably, I've been taking pictures for about 20 minutes now. I've got pretty much the Americans well documented. Now I'm going to go up to do the German side of things. And, uh, just take advantage of the mock while it's still built, you know, all the cool scenes and all that. Try to get cool pictures for Instagram, Flickr, Facebook, all the good stuff, all the social media. So that's what I'm working on right now. Then we're probably going to start by plucking all the minifigures and we'll probably start with, let's see, I want to say the American side first, but I'm not too sure. So that's what we're going to be working on in this video. We're going to be documenting the mock. We're going to be taking the figures and probably the vehicles off. And uh, then we can start working on taking the actual mock apart. So it's kind of crazy. You know, you spend this long, almost over half a year working on something like this. Then you try to document it and then you just kind of take it down and move on. So let's do it, guys. Let's keep taking pictures and uh, I'll keep you posted. Okay, I think I got all the pictures that I need. I don't think I need to take any more video because I got a bunch of video clips that I don't even show in the two finale videos. So I think I'm good in that department. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start... Just start taking minifigures off the mock and probably make a pile over here, uh, get the vehicles off, and then probably like the tank traps and clean up like all the little like studs for the blood and the bullets. Um, do all that little stuff like the uh, barbed wire, that too. Um, rebuild that tank so I can put it on my shelf. Then probably start taking the same thing as far as the Germans go, take all the figures off and whatnot. Because what I'm thinking is take all the figures off and whatnot so I kind of have a blank battlefield. Then, of course, as I'm taking it apart, I'm constantly taking pictures of me documenting that. It's just kind of cool. Um, I have a big file for like the D-Day in the Sinai Desert, so I'm doing the same for this one. But then I also want to, once all the figures are off, then it'll give me like a blank canvas to put fi figures and um, vehicles for photo shoots. So that's kind of what I'm doing because there's a lot of cool shots I can do here up in the grass and then on the beach itself. So. That's what I'm going to work on, so I'm probably going to set you guys up on the tripod and I'm going to start taking figures off the beach probably to start. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, so what I've done so far is I've taken off all these Americans here. These are all the non-injured ones, so they have all their weapons and like limbs attached still. So it was easier to pick those ones off. And then all of the ones that are currently on the mock are ones that like I have to grab and like put the weapon back in their hand or like this one I have to reassemble his arms. So it's like I want to keep those kind of separate just so it's easier for me. Um, so like I know that those arms go with that minifigure, but if I took all of them and just put them in a bin I wouldn't know so this way I know you know those arms go with this guy and you know those legs go with this guy So that just keeps it a little bit simpler for me So now I'm gonna go through and take all those minifigures reassemble them put those in the bin And then I also took off all the tank tracks I started taking off the barbed wire, but then I realized that would look kind of cool for some of the photo shoots I want to do, so I might leave those up. I might actually put some of the tank traps back out, tank traps back out, and then do some more photo shoots, but uh, that's kind of my thought process. So I'm going to go through, and uh, I'll probably take the explosions off, and I might leave those actually, but I'm going to take all the minifigures, get those assembled, put them in the bins, and then uh, we're going to keep moving on from there. So that's the plan.
Okay, now what I've done is I've taken off all the like disassembled figures. I reassembled them. So now we have this giant bin of American figures that I have to go through. I'm gonna have to take all the weapons off, make sure all the faces and everything are good so I can package those. Because you can actually buy those minifigures. There's four Americans and four Germans available on my website. I'll put a link in the description. And you're buying the ones that were featured in this mock series. So that's kind of cool. And then we also have a handful of Americans that I had to take the legs off to make them look like they were, you know, in the water. So I have to go, I have the legs somewhere, I need to find those. I think I'm looking at them down here. They're down under the table. I gotta reassemble those once again so I can package those. And then I took off all the trans red studs there for the blood details. So I got all that. So probably what I'm gonna do next, take up all these bullet details. Then we're going to have a pretty blank slate as far as some cool photo shoots. So I'll probably leave the explosions, that tank. Um, I have a couple ideas for some cool photos with the Higgins boat. So I'm going to leave those up for now. Um, I'm trying to think. After that, it's probably going to be take up the explosions, take up the tank. Or both tanks at least, the Higgins boats. Then I can start like taking off like all these explosions in the water and then it's gonna be up to the German side. So that's the plan, so we're gonna keep working on this and uh, I'll keep you guys posted along the way. So here's what the mock looks like right now. The battlefield on the American side is pretty much cleared up. Took all the explosions off, all the vehicles off. As you can see, German side's still intact, but uh, all the American vehicles are over there, all the figures, all the little accessories and whatnot. So this is pretty much ready to tear up. This is probably going to be the last segment in this first episode. So like I said, it's probably going to be three episodes. First episode being the Americans, second will be the Germans, and the third will be the overall mock tearing that down. So guys, thank you for watching this first episode. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these episodes, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the finale. I'll put the link right there and there. There's two finale videos. Make sure you check them both out, and make sure you guys subscribe by clicking right there. That'll also get you in the giveaway. You got to like and comment on the video as well. And uh, yeah, guys, so see you in episode two next coming Sunday. See you guys then.